What's up guys, we are gonna be taking a look at some Wild Rift Esports on the new patch. Now unfortunately this is not the brand new 2.2a patch, but it is the 2.2 patch with all those item changes, with all those new tank items, with Galio, and let me tell you, Galio is absolutely broken. We will probably see him a lot, um, especially because as you can see right on your screen, he is not banned in this game. Without further ado, let's not waste any time, let's just jump straight into this draft between one team and Flash Wolves in the Taiwanese Icon Series Season 1. And uh, these two teams actually uh, completely blasted the other teams so far, so this series should be amazing. And we already have a Camille first pick. I've seen Camille banned in a lot of uh, other tournaments so far or in other regions Icon Series. Uh, also in the Taiwanese one as well, so Camille seems to be a really hot commodity right now. And we have a Galio, ban uh, Galio first pick here for red side here along with that Kaisa. So Galio already locked in. I think he will go mid lane. That's where we will see him the most probably. But keep in mind, he can also be filled into the support position. We have a Vi and a Zix pick. Zix, as I said, is absolutely S tier right now. The strongest mage. And we see Zix very often in the marksman position as well. So kind of like a mage. Uh, in the marksman position, we've seen that on PC League of Legends in the past as well. Gragas and Seraphine. Seraphine is a really hot commodity as well. I checked through uh, the other regions I can series as well. I was just filtering through all the games to try to find the most competitive one, to find, to try to find the most fun one. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of Seraphine. Corky, Braum as well, they're still absolutely top tier. Locked in by one. And for the last picks, we have a Zinzao in the jungle here for Cookie. Now, let me just get to the game here. There we go. Let me move my camera to the top right corner, as always. Beautiful. All right, guys, listen. So, Zinzao. Now, why are they still picking Zinzao, right? There's so many strong junglers available. The thing is, Zinzao with uh, Galio is a very, very nice combo, man. You can go dive deep super deep and the Galio can just ult you and you have a beautiful engage so this should be really fun to watch uh, we have the classic little matchup here Camille going up against Gragas in that Baron lane no lane swap luckily this time I didn't check but luckily I, guys I'm telling you the lane swaps even after all those tower changes they are still an absolute mess I've seen dual lanes going against each other in the mid lane in the Vietnamese icon series. Like I'm, I filter through a lot of uh, a lot of the newest matches, and man, it is absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any esports that is played on the brand new patch. No Diana picks, unfortunately, but maybe we'll get there soon. But yeah, let's get back to this game here. We have Corky in the marksman position. Uh, I was maybe thinking maybe the Corky will go mid lane and the Ziggs will go into that dual lane, uh, which really, really happens a lot. I, I mean, in the in other games, I've seen Yasuo, Zed even Marksman, I believe, but it was even it was a little bit older and the teams weren't that good, so I decided not to show it. But man, it, it, there's some, I, I'm telling you, Wild Rift Esports is the Wild West right now because there's some crazy picks, but look at this Flash Wolves macro. They're already moving into that tower dive and they will get it. Beautiful flash in by the uh, Galio. Beautiful AoE taunts on both of them and there is not a lot of counterplay. Now Galio actually was banned, especially in the Taiwanese uh, Icon series in the previous games, a lot. So very uh, surprising that uh, one team and Flash Wolves didn't ban him out. He is incredibly broken and from what I've seen, all these teams are playing him full AP in the mid lane, just like I've been doing. Uh, they're using a very similar build to what I um, theory crafted, and it seems to work incredibly well. Luckily, next patch, or when they finally get to the next patch that we already have in our rank games, uh, in their esports matches, uh, we, we might see him uh, pick less. But I still think Galio will be a king. He's still incredibly strong. But yeah, this Camille should be a superstar as well because Camille, um, it is one kid. Now, if you guys don't know who Kid is, he was one of the superstar Baron uh, or solo laners in uh, a different game called Arena of Valor. And yeah, he is playing Camille here, which is of course a very mechanically intensive 
uh, champion. He was a very well known for these mechanically intensive uh, heroes in Arena of Valor. And we'll see. I, I expect great things from him. He's laning against Isera. Now, if you don't know who Isera is, I don't know either, but I know it's a Hearthstone card. So um, it's a World of Warcraft thing. It's a dragon. So I don't know what to say about that. But we have the bot lane a little bit losing here. Very understandable though. Seraphine is such a strong lane bully. That is exactly why she's on all this team on all these teams radar now. Why lots of these teams are really using her a lot. I've seen some Seraphine mid lane as well, but again, the Zin Zhao just repeats the gank and look at this Gully ult. There's just not much they can do. If this Corky gets the kill, he's gonna be very happy. Ooh. The heal comes through, but one more all attack. Beautiful, beautiful counter gank actually by the Vi as well. The Corky will die in the end. Yeah, the aftershock kills him. Oh, but the Galio, I'm not sure if you want to go in. You have to dodge that Q. Okay, he dodges the Q. Very well done. Huge team fights already. Okay, so I picked a very good game. I only I only skipped ahead a little bit to like five minutes to uh, see if it's worthwhile watching because we've seen a lot of stomps. Now again, one team stomped the previous competitor that they played against, and then Flash Wolf stomped their previous competitor. I'm not sure how this uh, Taiwanese icon series works entirely, but I believe they have, like, each day, they have, like, these matchups where one team was playing against another team. I think AHQ, they 2-0 them. Then um, Flash Wolves played against, I don't even know, Eternal Victory or something. They 2-0 them. Then Eternal Victory played against AHQ. It wasn't too exciting, not gonna lie. Uh, it had a Katarina pick, but Eternal Victory just doesn't seem to be on par uh, with these three other teams here. HQ looked pretty good, honestly, even in their two losses. But now one team is up against Flash Wolves, so this should be super good, okay? And it seems to be so far, two and four. The other games, as I said, huge stumps. Let me know what other Icon series you want me to check out. Um, I checked Indonesia, I know a lot. Uh, Indonesia was rec requested a lot. Uh, Philippines was requested a lot. I will check these out. Uh, Indonesia, I saw the most newest one is three weeks ago, which is a little bit too old, you know, not on the newest patch and stuff. Uh, I'm going to check Philippines as well. And yeah, just let me know. If you find any crazy good games, you know, let me know. But don't spoil me. Don't say, wow, they got a huge comeback. Just, you know, just leave a comment and say, yo, this game was very worthwhile checking out. Don't even say anything, you know. So I'm, I'm going to check it out. Don't worry about it. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to this game. While I was rambling on and advertising uh, the comment section on this video, which you should really check out, you know, you can leave some nice comments, which will boost the algorithm. Flash Wolves actually got a dragon. And uh, not too much other than that happening. It is a 1000 gold lead for Flash Wolves. They're looking pretty good, especially though, that Galio, because he's 800 gold ahead. And that Galio, 800 gold ahead of the Ziggs, that is pretty much their whole gold lead. So they really have to bank on this big boy. And let me tell you, he is that broken that they can. Now, let me see. Maybe I am mistaken. And this is on the newest patch, but I don't think so. We'll see by the Galio dash. Okay. We'll see if it's uh, short. <laughs> but I, I'm, I really doubt it is the newest patch. Because I really think we will at least see at least one Diana pick. You know, she's an assassin. She's not as good for esports than she is for solo queue. Yes, I get that. But I we would see we would see at least uh you know. Ooh, nice little flash taunt by the Galio. Is the Camille gonna die? She does end up dying. Beautiful Seraphine ult follows up as well. And there's not much you can do against that. The Zinzao going very supportive. Look at these triple Trinity forces. <laughs> Trinity Force of course got a little bit buffed. Triple Trinity Force on one side here. And um, yeah, but let's hold that thought. We have a huge team fight breaking out. Zinzao gets completely caught after he kills the Brom though. So it is a one for one trade, but he gets completely cucked by the Vi ult, knocked up in the air and they end up dropping. Did they get the mid lane tower? Not quite. It holds on to its dear life with 773 health uh, after that Rift Herald push. So the tower still standing strong. But yeah, these three Trinity Forces, I mean, yeah, I get it. It makes sense. Corky, Camille, of course they go Trinity Forces, but Vi, we've seen her often go for a Black Cleaver, for a Yomus, for all of that good stuff, you know. We, But now Trinity Force, first item, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Now, um, let's check this Zinzao. I think he's going to go for a GA, second item. 
or Asterox, but I really think it's gonna be a GA. It's still a broken item, it's still a very strong uh, piece of equipment to pick up as a second or third item for these champions that go in but can't go out. And Xin Zhao is a prime example of that. And look at this, he's actually going for exactly my build on Galio. I've seen a different build in previous games, Rod of Ages into a Haunting guys, and then the Rabadons. But here he's just going Rod of Ages into Rabadons, exactly what I do. Very nice. The predictive genius. Not bad, huh? We predict those builds. Hey, I can do at least something. But yeah. Hey, Kaisa, Mana Mun. Just saying. Mana Mun Kaisa. There we go. Also something I run. Very nice, but she's not going for uh, any ability power. She's just trying to evolve the Q as fast as possible and still building a Mana Mune. Uh, of course, that item received a buff as well on patch 2.2 with the additional ability haste. While I'm saying that, we have Abyssal, uh, not Abyssal Dragon, we have the Infernal Dragon respawning right now. Uh, not respawning, spawning. There it is. And it's instantly going to be started off by Flash Wolves. They're looking at a 2000 gold lead, which is very decent. Probably still a lot on that Galio after he picked up that previous assist. He knocks up the Brom. The Brom gets one shot, no counter play. He tried to force himself in there, tried to maybe lay down an ult, but he just got stunned, locked down before he was even able to press a single ability. Ooh, big dragon steal by the Vi, but that Galio ult unfortunately misses everyone. Yeah, it's still a really long Galio uh, dash. It is A. It is still A. That's a super long one. That's what she said. Hey, exactly, boys. Anyway, we have uh, Kaisa dropping down that poor little Ziggy. The Braum is 0 and 4. Very unfortunate. Zig's going for a very, very aggressive build with that um, Ludens Echo into the Morello Nomicon to reduce the healing that Gragas has on his passive, Zinzao has on his second ability passive, and Seraphine has on her, um, you know, on her shield. Double shield thingy, you know, double ability shield. Uh, but yeah, not double ability. When when she's shielded, she casts the heal. But yeah, we have the Rabadons completed. I mean, you just saw it there. Flash Wolves, pretty strong right now. They are at a 3,000 gold lead despite losing the Infernal. Now listen, this could bite them in the booty in the late game. But for now, they're in a really good spot, okay? Because they just got that mid lane tower as well. They're making their way onto that Baron. They're removing the vision around it. And now uh, one team is really sitting in the dark here in that Baron area. You can see there is no blue side wards. The earliest one is right next to that wall at the blue buff there. Uh, as you can see on the minimap. So this is absolutely insane. They, for, for what, from one's perspective, Flash Wolves could be doing Baron right now. They have no clue. So they have to try to get in there, so this Braum will have to suicide again. And while I'm saying that, Flash Wolves actually start off the Baron. And yeah, that Braum will have to suicide here. He will have to walk in. Okay, nice little Ziggzold reveals them. However, now his Ziggzold is already used. Ooh, but huge chunk coming in by the Ziggs bombs and by the Corky damage. Uh, Flash Wolves really chunked out. Nice little Galio ult separates the team fight into two parts so they can finish off that Vi that dive deep. And now they can just continue the team fight and finish off all the remaining members. The Kaisa gets forced away there a little bit by the uh, Corky rocket and two people survive. However, the third one that actually survived on one's team is Camille, who is actually pushing down the base. The Gragas went back to defend. I think four Flash Wolves member, uh, members will be plenty to clear this Baron, and they will. Should be very easy. Uh, the Camille was pushed away, she will pick up a blue buff as a consolation prize, but she was able to get that tier 2 tower. So she is still pretty happy about that. 3000 gold lead still for Flash Wolves. It didn't get bigger though, because Camille was doing good work in that side lane. She went for that death stance again. This is the standard build. Uh, people were flaming me for some reason in my Camille video for going death's dance. Uh, second, but it's just a standard build, man. Like, what, what am I gonna do, guys? <laughs> Try it out if you don't believe me. Believe him at least. Believe Kid here. He's a pro player. He's, uh, you know, I don't think it's a coincidence. <laughs> I don't even play Camille. I just copied it from him, man. I copied it from these guys. I didn't, I didn't do nothing. Please, guys, stop. 
stop trying to lock me up in prison for building Death's Dance. Now Ninja, after quitting his Fortnite career and uh, putting a 7 next to his name, joining one team here on his core key, you know, he's looking pretty strong now. Probably has that mana mute, had that tier and trinity force earlier. Um, we have that Galio, just huge old man, yeah. Guys, I thought this would be a close game, but this is a huge stomp, man. Galio is just insanely strong. You definitely see that the backbone of this whole game was completely Galio. 608, full AP Galio. Wow, just wow, guys. Quick little game, 13 minutes uh, already completed. You can see the Taiwanese region is looking strong in Wild Rift so far. Very, very nice. Match winner, Flash Wolves. Very well, very well played, man. Especially that Galio. Those AoE taunts, they were sick. Now, let's see who did most damage. Galio actually gets the MVP. Who did most damage? Let's see. I think it's going to be Galio. Ooh, 15,000, man. He, he blasts them, too. Not even close with that Kai'Sa, but look at this uh, Ziggs damage. He definitely smurfed it up. 23,000. That was sick. I'm going to leave you here with the builds so you can uh, screenshot this if you guys want to find out the best builds for these champions. Kai'Sa build, very interesting. Man immune Kai'Sa. Wow. But not hybrid. Not my style with AP. Just full man immune. Um, no crit. That's really interesting, man. I'm going to try this. She still did a lot of damage. Decent amount. So uh, definitely could work. And yeah, with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you, as I said, if you are an esports enthusiast and you watch this not only on my channel, but just, you know, you watch these live streams when these uh, matches are going on. Uh, let me know if you want me to review any particular game, if you find something sick, because there is there is so much esports going on right now. I think we won't do full series at this point anymore. We will always pick a single game where, like, something cool, you know, like, full AP Galio, this game, cool, right? Uh, new patch, Manamune, Kai'Sa, all of that stuff. Um... Maybe Katerina, I'll, I'll look for a Katerina game and stuff. For now, we'll probably just um, keep it to single games where I can really just pick the best ones because worldwide, there's so much Wild Rift Esports right now that we can really just pick and choose, you know? We don't need to do a full series where maybe only one or two games are really, really high quality. And yeah, with that being said, really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe or ring the notification bell if you enjoy this content. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.